What's up? I'm AJ, and welcome back to Gen Z Today, we're going to be looking at cars in the Dominican Republic that are similar to ones in America, like this car, which is similar to my dad's. The Dominican Republic shares the landmass with the country of Haiti on what is known as the Island of Hispaniola. They are strong allies of the United States and have the largest economy in the Caribbean, and the seventh overall in Latin America. They have a vibrant economy and a diverse market share for the international automotive industry. A couple of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to vacation there, and like we all do when we visit our neighbors, we check out what kind of cars they have. It didn't take long before I realized that many of the cars I saw in the Dominican Republic were similar, if not the same, as what we have in the United States. There are a number of differences, though. Let's take a look. And let's see if we can find any Fieros. I'll quickly go through the Dominican's top 30 cars, according to most cars sold in 2021 by Car Industry Analysis. The top 10 looks nearly identical to our top 10 in the United States. You have the Toyota RAV4 as number one, followed by the Toyota Corolla, Honda CRV, Nissan Sentra, Toyota Camry, Honda HRV, and the Ford F-150. But then you get to number eight, which is the Toyota Hilux. For those who don't know, the Toyota Hilux is not available in the United States. It takes the place of the Toyota Tacoma for the global market and is very sought after for off-road and small pickup lovers. The Hilux globally has several more engines available, including a much larger 2.8 diesel engine. It's also a little bit shorter and more narrow, and is said to be a little bit more competent at being off-road. I saw a few of these while I was in the Dominican. Next, the top 10 is followed by the Tesla Model 3 and the Honda Accord at number 10. And starting in our next group, the Honda Civic at number 11. For number 12 through 22, we see more of the same. Nissan Rogue, Toyota Highlander, Chevy Silverado, Ram 1500, and then, what's this at number 16? The Volkswagen Rila Vida. Believe it or not, this is a Volkswagen that is actually made and imported from China, but more on that later. Next we have the Hyundai Elantra, the Nissan Rogue Sport, the Tesla Model Y, and then in number 20, this crazy little car called the Wuling. The Wuling Mini EV is a tiny little two-door around town EV that's a joint venture between the Chinese and America's GM in what's called the SAIC GM Wuling Company. This little guy is made in China and is available as a two-door, a hatchback, and even a cabrio version. Back to our list. We have the Mazda CX-5 and then the Haval H6, which is a Chinese-made SUV that takes most of its styling cues from Toyota and is actually made of a combination of parts from European and American manufacturers, including Bosch, Delphi, Borg Warner, and Honeywell. Rounding out our top 30, we have the new Ford Ranger at number 23, which we now also have in the United States, followed by the Volkswagen Tiguan, the Ford Escape, Volkswagen Jetta, and another joint Chinese VW car known as the Volkswagen T-Cross. This is followed by the BMW 3 Series and then the Hyundai Creta FX, which is another small subcompact SUV that we don't have in the United States. Finally, we come to the renowned Volkswagen Polo. This is a smallish Volt Volkswagen that's been exceptionally popular throughout South and Central America, including the Caribbean. It's a little bit smaller than the Jetta and is beloved by everywhere it's sold. Or at least I think it was, since it's dead last in the top 30. I noticed the Ford Explorer wasn't in that list. However, we did find this guy. It's a 2007 to 2010 Ford Explorer that's identical to what we have in the United States and the same model as the one my dad drives. Unfortunately though, I didn't see any Fieros while I was there. My dad reached out on Penix to La Fiera and Fierro, both of whom have houses in the Dominican Republic. Apparently, they did in fact sell the Pontiac Fierro there at one time. And there are currently several available for sale. We found this guy, who's looking happy in red and has apparently had some unique modifications to the interior. We also found this nice 1987 GT from Manuel's Auto Center. 
Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this quick video while I wait for my engine to come back from the machine shop. Pontiac G6 convertible. Libera tu sexy con el único convertible hardtop por menos de 30 mil. Visita Pontiac.com diagonal sexy.